Geez, look at all this snow. You can definitely tell that winter is here because of all this snow. <laughs> Looks like I might have to do another shoveling job, I think. Oh, oh, hey, how's it going, everybody? Frankie Slasson here with another great Frankie Slasson show video. Now, I know I said last time in the last video that I made that, uh, well, that video was going to be my last video of 2010, but, but, because I uh, recently uh, watched a video that was made uh, by a friend of mine, everybody knows him, Dweebo1234, that's uh, Cool Dealer's uh, younger brother, and I kind of asked for some video responses as far as uh, some of your memory is from some of your memory is from the previous year or from this year you know 2010 or whatnot and I have a bunch <laughs> I figure you know because of the fact that I'm doing longer videos now uh, I know some people still kind of don't understand the premise of why I'm making my videos a little longer now uh, because of this well I guarantee that some of you if not all of you who you know whether you're a partner or whether you're not a partner but you have access to uh, uh, to do a longer video because it said on my upload thing what be uh, when I upload a video it said congratulations your account is now enabled for longer videos uh, longer than 15 minutes and I was like what the hell <laughs> what the hell did I do to deserve that the only thing about this partnership thing is that I'm still not seeing any revenue I think what happened was and maybe this is just an error on my part or, or maybe an error on YouTube's part I'm not I, you know I'm not upset with the fact that I'm not getting no revenue or whatever uh, that you know that's fine I'm used to that uh, I'm just surprised how they will let you do longer videos even though you're not getting no revenue you don't see no fancy ads or whatever on my videos or whatnot but yet somehow some way <laughs> I'm able to do longer videos so I figured you know I'm gonna take advantage of that and, and to do this the way that I've always dreamed of you know to have there be a possible Frankie Slauson movie maybe but if I did a movie I would definitely want some cameos you know I definitely would want some of the people who I've graciously appreciated uh, maybe this is something that we can think about for 2011 the possibility of doing a, a collab between myself and a bunch of my favorite YouTubers and do like an hour and a half, two hour YouTube movie. And we do it on my channel or somebody's channel or whatever. I think that'd be kind of good. Make it even to a point where, where people might want to even buy it. I don't know. Uh, but I guarantee that most of you people, most of you ones that watch, if you had a chance to do longer videos the way that uh, I'm doing them or, or whatnot, I know you would. I know you take advantage. I mean, I know it's kind of unheard of. You know, there's there's a certain time. You know, not everybody's going to sit around and, and watch your videos, you know, like for an hour and a half or whatever. Just sit on the computer and watch. But if you're a true YouTuber and this is all you have to do, you know, you know, all you got going on for yourself in your daily life or whatever thus far, most people have time for videos, for longer videos or whatnot of their favorite YouTubers or whatever, or new ones that they're discovering. So anyway, so that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. And I will continue to do this for as long as I can do longer videos just because, well, just because I had the chance to. It sucked a lot, you know, doing shorter videos because, you know, you could, you know, I mean, I could do a long video, but then I'd have to split it up in parts. That's where I was missing the views. That's why a lot of people would not watch or I would not get enough views or, or, or uh, uh, people wouldn't watch enough or leave enough feedback or whatever because of, you know, splitting it up in so many different parts and, and because I'm not a, you know, I'm not a big YouTuber or whatever, like the ones that are getting paid and whatnot, get, you know, like Shay Carl and all that stuff, getting paid, you know, big bucks, you know, to make this their job. I wish I could do a job like this I, instead of working at Hugo's, to be honest with you. Anyway, enough rambling. So that's kind of why I do what I do. And if you guys are interested in participating, you know, a possible 
to be in a possible Frankie Slauson movie, that would be kind of fun. But we'll talk more about that later on as the year progresses. Uh, I also want to talk about, before I talk about 2010 a little bit, talk a little bit about, uh, I was challenged, of course, by Cool Duder, and this will be our video response, of course, and, uh, and by Do Evil, to uh, show me eating uh, on, uh, on camera. See, I'm not afraid to eat on camera. You know, I'm not like MD, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not really a private guy. Sometimes here and there, whatever, but most of the time I'm just, you know, somebody just, you know, I don't know why I never, never show myself eating. I just, you know, I think it's because I don't have nobody else to hold the camera for me, you know? Most of the people that I have on, on film or whatever are people that, you know, don't really want to be on YouTube in the first place, but are doing it because they're, you know, they're willing to do it for me. But, uh, yeah, so mostly it's just me, myself, eating the, you know, eating the food by myself. And, and if it wasn't for my roommate not allowing me to do videos, I would definitely do a cooking video. I, would, I kind of would like to do something like that, you know, if I could. My sister's all lives in town here, so she could, you know, I could always do something at her, her place, too. Anyway, so, your challenges will be accepted, but it's going to take a little while. In, in, in separate videos or whatever, we'll get to that more later on. Okay, 2010. The year, it definitely has been a pretty wacky year, you know. From starting the year off, living at my parents' place, to kind of ending it, living on my own again. Which was kind of unexpected, but was kind of grateful as well. This year has definitely been the year of, I don't know how you how you call it, a year of opportunities that kind of just didn't happen until later in the year, you know, like the second half of the year, more or less. Uh, opportunities like being back on the radio, uh, not only that, but also uh, the possibility of hosting my own show, you know, doing a lot of videos on YouTube, uh, moving to a new location, you know, moving with my roommate, my friend Roger, uh, who's been a great guy and all that, you know, put up with my crap as well as I put up with his. Uh, you know, and then this year I became an uncle, you know. And, you know, it, it's had its shares of ups and downs. There was a couple downs this year. Uh, I lost my Grandpa Bushy, my Grandpa David Bushy, who passed away in February. Uh, kind of unexpectedly. We weren't expecting that to even happen. I mean, yeah, he was in a wheelchair. And yeah, he's been kind of disabled for the last 20 years of his life or whatever, uh, ever since the days of his stroke. But he he kind of did that all to himself, though. You know, I mean, kind of, you know, he, he, he was a rebel. He was somebody who did what he wanted. He, you know, and, and I don't really ma really mind to say this now because, it's, you know, it's been so long now. Well, you know, he's he's been dead now for a few months now. But he, he, his life wasn't always the greatest. I don't know if this is the way he wanted it to end or what, but, you know, it just, the way he lived his life kind of was a, a story, almost like a story of a rebel kind of thing. A rebel without a clue, almost. But, uh, but he was a great guy. I mean, he was a good good grandfather and someone who I would definitely miss. Uh, and it definitely changed my family, that's for sure. And then I recently lost a uh, great aunt here in December, who I didn't mention, I didn't really mention much about because, you know, I mean, it's a close relative, but it's not somebody that I really talk about much on my dad's side. Uh, great aunt, who would be my great aunt, uh, passed away here early this month, uh, uh, who lived to be 85 years old and uh, was found at her house. You know, I don't know, we don't know how she died, if it was because of a heart attack or whatever, but she died, and, you know, that was kind of tragic. But, uh, you know, those are pretty much, to me, I think the only two downer points of the year. I think everything else was pretty pretty good. And then, of course, you can't forget about the highlight of, of the summer. The only, uh, I'm never going to do this again. Only Not that I don't love video, because I do, but it just drove me kind of nuts how, you know, I put a lot of pressure on myself when I did this. The daily summer vlogs. If you guys go back to some of my videos that I did, from June 1st, well, actually from May 31st to, like, almost the end of August, I did a daily video. You know, regardless of if it was my own content or whatnot, it still counted as a daily video. Something produced newly or whatever. Where not only did I do video, new videos of myself, going to on these crazy adventures or whatever, but I also paid tribute to some of the people that I appreciate on YouTube or people who I've met in my life, you know, uh, if not in real life, but on the internet. 
like Ron Swatz and all that. Some people didn't like that Ron Swatz video, but I talked to Ron himself, and, and he, he appreciated it. He had no idea I was going to do it. Hell, I had no idea I was going to do it, too, but it was just an idea, idea that I had. And then I also paid tribute to, like, Mad Magazine and stuff, and, and my favorite wrestling DVDs, and, and kind of got to interact with my family more. The only reason why I wanted to do it, because I was so intrigued by some of the people who have done daily vlogs and, and who have done it, who are still doing it, you know, for over a year or so, who, you know, I mean, I think it's kind of cool, you know, to do that. It's not about the app, you know, the revenue or whatever. To me, it's just about the love of video. But if, if YouTube's willing to pay me for some of my work, hey, I, I gladly appreciate it. YouTube, I don't know if they watch all the videos that get uploaded or something or what how, how it works, but I do know that they do take, you know, if, if they are mentioned in a video, I, I know that they they uh, do watch some of the stuff that they that people throw out. I'm sure they do, you know. There's somebody at YouTube headquarters that you know, has to confirm all this stuff, isn't there? You know? But I myself would like to see some big things happen in 2011. Uh, just because I, I really have always believed in myself. I believe that, it, you know, maybe I'm not the greatest, you know, video person ever. You know, I know sometimes my videos suck. You know, I, I know that. Uh, if I had, like, a crew, or ha if I had another person who was so ambitious just like myself, especially who wanted to do something on YouTube or whatever, uh, maybe, you know, things would be better. You know, if I had a, a studio, or if I had... A, a better camera cameras and stuff like that maybe you know I would be one of those top youtubers I don't know you know I've always kind of wondered that but now I just look at like hey you know they let me make longer videos now and if that's all the excitement I ever get then you know that's fine too I mean now I get to be as creative as I always wanted to be and maybe some people won't will still not like the longer videos but hey if you really appreciate what, what I'm doing as a YouTuber, I would do the same thing for you if you made longer videos or whatnot. Uh, I would sit through three hours, four hours of people who I really appreciate and, and watch. And I know I know it's now Wet Movie uh, tried out the whole, uh, he probably didn't even know that he had a long, you know, unlimited account. He just tried it out here uh, a couple videos ago or whatever that he just made with uh, Sean. You know, he and Sean hanging out, so he probably didn't even know that you know he could do that, but he did it. And even Dweebo, you know, probably didn't know that he could do it, but he did it. You know, to make longer videos. So I think that's kind of where you get the ball rolling. For the ones who still have to live under the time limit, well, you know, if 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 there are real YouTubers out there that really want to progress, you know, you know, your time will come. You know, I have been very happy and very grateful with everything I've accomplished. You know, in my life. And 2010 was just one of those years that has had its shares of ups and downs. You know, started the year off with the whole five awesome stud thing. Remember that? Remember the five awesome studs? And uh, the controversy and all that stuff, you know, with Zarin Isaac and, and, and Arjo Hagen and all that. You know, and, and it's stuff like that that really kind of drove me nuts because they didn't understand, you know, what... The, what I was trying to do, what my goals were. 2009 was a pretty good year as far as, you know, last year was a pretty good year as far as doing the collab thing. But a lot of people didn't understand, fully understand what I was trying to do. They thought, you know, they started spreading around rumors about me saying that I didn't care enough about anybody, that I, you know, that I didn't want to listen to reason, that I didn't, you know, I didn't do this, I didn't do that, that if I was more of a better person, I would have took, you know, consideration for what everybody was doing. And the point, the real truth of the matter is, I did take consideration with everybody. You know, they just, they just wanted to start drama. They were sick of just being a part of the channel, is what was to it. They felt like it wasn't going to go nowhere anymore. They felt like they'd done everything they could possibly do to help this channel. But yet, they blamed the guy who created the channel uh, for all the bullshit and, and thought that I was the one responsible for everything, all the negative things. I'm not saying I'm perfect, you know. If I were to ever do another cold lab channel, I would definitely learn from the mistakes that were made. Uh, I do believe that, that for a first attempt, anyway, to, to do a cold lab channel like I did, and like we all did together with everybody who was participating, whether they were, did it one video or did four videos or, or 100 videos or whatever, it was fun. It was fun. I, I to, to see an imagination, I, I felt like I was the Eric Bischoff of, of creating stuff, you know, 
and, and I felt like I was kind of the guy in charge because it was, you know, I was the guy that got on the channel. But it took people, people's help to, you know, make it all work. I couldn't just do it by myself, you know. And, and for the ones who still don't talk to me or whatever, you know, I, I do still have respect for those people too. The ones who rather not have anything to do with me no more. Or even like Zaren Isaac, you know, who still doesn't even talk to me or whatever. He, he's let his ego run too far. I still respect the guy, though, only because of what he's accomplished uh, for himself. And, yeah, you know, and, you know, the fact that he can be creative and all that. Because he has more time to do that. And, you know, he loves videos just as much as I do. But... I don't know. I mean, you never know what to expect. I, I, I look for good things here this coming up in 2011, and and I hope you guys, too, can uh, uh, help good things happen for you guys. So this is my video response to Dweebo, and I uh, hope you guys have a happy new year, and we will see you in 2011.